guys, today I'm going to be talking about salty Magic the Gathering players. Um, and this is kind of from FNM. So wh what's happening right now is the FNM promos are actually very attractive to more competitive players. So w when you have competitive players who actually want, you know, the Path to Exile promo or the Serum Visions promo, they come out at these FNMs. So I've noticed a general trend up in the competitive level as well as the saltiness. So how, let's, first of all, let's define salty. Salty can happen when you win or you lose. And a lot of times it actually happens when people win as uh, they'll make a offhanded comment, which is like, oh, well, you know, my deck is just so much better than your deck. Or, hey, you know, of course I was going to crush you or something like that. Like, I don't know, I play casual decks now. I used to be more of a net decker, but now I just play decks that I like. Um, the deck on this channel for this week is a Planeswalker deck, which is kind of good, but not like optimized. But it's fun. I mean, you just grab a bunch of Planeswalkers and you do stuff with them. So the Salty players are generally new. They're not like local players. You don't see them that often, but because the promos and the prize payouts for my locals is so good, uh, they show up a lot now and yeah it depends it really depends on context right so someone who is salty uh, might not be salty among his friends because his friends are going to be like oh yeah i understand this guy that's just how he acts but among new locals and i think that's part of the problem if i've never talked to you before i've never interacted with you before and then you just make a offhanded comment about how my deck like sucks then yeah i'm gonna be like huh this guy is like not a good person but like if we were friends and my and they my friend <laughs> sarcastically jeremy always says this he sarcastically says oh your deck kind of sucks then i'll be like oh well okay whatever that's just jeremy right um and that's part of the problem but i've noticed a large trend in the saltiness of players right now and the players are quite salty and and mainly because I think the promo, once the prizes get better, um, they get like, ooh, it the prices, the prizes at my current locals, as you guys know from FNM Lion, if you guys watch that, it's very high. Uh, top eight receives promos, and then the what's it called? You get so let's say we have a hundred dollars in fees or whatever. Well, the prize payout is 150 in credit. And 150 credit can be used to buy boxes, singles, like whatever you want. The Vanguard. I normally use my credit to buy promos from Vanguard or Weiss. But that's just me, right? Uh, but Pokemon, whatever you want, like uh, whatever you want to buy, you can buy uh, using credit. Uh, Force of Whale. Force of Whale is interesting. People want me to do a channel about that. But obviously I'm not going to put that in this video because I've learned my lesson from the previous channel. But that is a small side. So people are getting really angry now and they're getting like, they tend to be older. They tend to be about my age or maybe older. So if, leave a comment below if you can. I think I've mentioned how old I am. Um, I'm pretty old. I, I imagine I'm pretty old to be playing a card game, I, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, and what was it? Oh, yeah. So they tend to be older. They tend to probably be, you know, more professional. They're not like high school or college kids. High school and college kids, I like a lot because they, although they get salty sometimes, they definitely are more open to uh, having a having good interactions with you, having good talks and uh, listening to your advice. But like these guys are a little older. They're probably like salespeople. They remind me a lot of used car sales dealer people. And I work, I used to work um, with used car salespeople, and they are a different breed of people. They are hyper type A, they are hyper aggressive, and you know, there's no reason to be salty. Like, there's really no reason that you need to be salty because you didn't win a five or ten dollar promo, right? Like, or to store credit. Oh, I guess what happens the saltiness of the player that I hate the most is the player who like finishes second or does really well and he's just salty because he didn't win it's like dude you won all the store credit you got the promo that you wanted and you just didn't win because you're not going to win every time it's kind of like 
yes, this store is casual, but don't come into our store and expect just to like beat down everybody like and just expect to like, oh, well, this store, the players in this store suck. Like I'm just going to win all the time. And that's not how it works. Even a very bad deck on a good day can be a good deck on a bad day. And that's what they don't kind of, that's the saltiness I dislike the most where they are doing very well or they get second place, fourth place, whatever they're doing. And they just get salty when they don't win that last match. And it's like, dude, you've done good enough. Like, leave, right? <laughs> no need to stay around and just like lament about like how you didn't, you got mana screwed in your last game for top, you know, for first place. Anyway, um, that's a trend I've noticed recently, and I attribute it to probably the FNM promos, and then the particular payout of this store is very aggressive. And it's aggressive because you want the new players to be able to buy the cards, to play the game, to buy more cards. And that's a very good philosophy to have, but it's a little problematic now because it's attracting, it's attracting um, a different type of player than this local environment is used to. And I'm okay with the, you know, the grinder. I'm okay with like that type of person. I'm just not okay when that person comes into the store, expects to dominate the locals, loses maybe one or two matches, gets, you know, second place, and is still pissed as like shit, like about like everything, like, you know, and complaining about everything. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to talk about. Another very interesting topic, uh, judge calls in the next video. Bye, guys.